Hi, I'm Rob Allen. And I'm Chris Lambrecht. This video is all about migrating your Avid Profile show file to an Avid SXL 24C. Hope you enjoy it. So let's have a look at the show file that we want to transfer. I'm just going to run through some of the channels so you can see there's a bunch of EQs, different dynamic settings, different high pass filters and different assignations depending on the channel. I'm going to take all of that with me to my SXL. You can see my snapshots are reasonably complicated. I have quite a few of them. I trigger them from MTC, different scope sets depending on the snapshot itself, different fade times. And also I use the notes quite extensively on the bottom right hand corner, just to remind me of things that are going to go on in my show. I have about 50 plugins on this show. From everywhere actually, we've got Avid plugins, we've got some Sonox plugins, which I'm a big fan of, the Waves of course, and MacDSP, which are great plugins as well. We're going to take all of that information with us when we transfer our show file from the profile to the SXL. So first off, let's navigate to Filing Transfer, plug in the USB key into an empty slot so that we can take the show file with us from one desk to the other. Let's head back to Filing and find the USB key in the drop down menu on the right hand side. There it is. And on the left hand side, let's find the show file that we want to bring with us and hit Transfer. Once that show file safely onto the USB key, we can take it out and bring it across to the SXL and load it up in here. You'll see that the software is very similar on the SXL and we again navigate to File and Transfer. Again on the right hand side we navigate to find the key on the drop down menu. And this time we're going to transfer from the key onto the desk. There it is. Now we'll select the Load tab and load that show file onto the desk. On the right hand side you'll see there's some information pertaining to the hardware and software setup of the show. To load the show onto the S6L we need to be in config mode. Once we're in config mode we hit load. We then get some information about the way that the show has been converted and once we're happy with that we hit OK. And now we'll see that every single element of the show file that was on the profile is right here on the S6L 24C. The channel names the EQs, the dynamics, the bus assignations, every value is exactly the same as it was on my profile. Let's navigate to the snapshots page and check out what's happening there. All the snapshots are there in the same order, the same MTC information, the same scope sets, crossfades, all of the notes that I had on my profile shows are right here. Everything's exactly where you'd hope it would be. Let's have a look at the plugins. The interesting thing about the plugins is there's only four racks on the profile. There's five racks on the SXL, so we actually just populated the first four racks. But all of the plugins are there, all of the settings, the way that they change with all of the snapshots, that's completely been brought in in its entirety. we still got the Avid, the Waves, MacDSP, and finally the Sonox plugins. So there we go. I've got every single element of my profile show file and transferred it onto the 24C. Thank you.